Hey, I'm Ted. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to work on taking out the school bus signs. Legally, they have to go. And uh, also taking out uh, the flasher lights, too. I know a lot of people leave them in or paint them or do something like that. Um, I'd like to try to avoid as much as I possibly can at points so water can get in. So I think eventually they would probably leak, so I might as well take them out. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to take this out. It's got this rubber gasket thing that I figure out. Um, those are just screws, so I'm gonna, I cut some metal already to uh, patch over and we're going to rub them in place. So, here we go. I really have no idea how this comes out. I don't know if you can just pry it out. I suppose I could just cut the whole sign, but... Something tells me if I screw it up, I'm going to want to be able to get it back in, so. I don't really know the approach here. After various trial and error on the other one that I didn't film all of it because it was even boring me. I couldn't really figure the best thing I'd do is just to slice this whole bottom off and then get started pushing it out and then it came out after that. But unless you know better, <laughs> if uh, you watch this and you know a better way, post it in the comments for the next person who does it so they'll at least figure it out. But I decided to get this in here like that. Pop. There it is. If you want it, let me know. Lenses off. Had to uh, cut a couple of them from the back side because they were pretty rusted on there. But now we can clean things up and then uh, get to patching. take a grinder and smooth up the edges and then uh, I'm not a metal expert but I'm gonna bet that this is galvanized because it's been sitting around the basement all uh, all winter and I actually have some out in the shed and it hasn't rusted a bit so I think there's probably some galvanized action going on so I think before I paint this I need to use an etch primer on it uh, so I'm gonna use that and I'll prime these up and then they'll be ready to go on the bus um, in a couple days when the weather warms up
uh, my Clico pliers and Clicos. It's pretty cool actually. So you put them in here and you squeeze and that sort of flattens, uh, makes that end skinny, pushes through and then we release it, holds us in place. Rivet holes around the perimeter. So now I'm going to drill these out and then I can seal it up and put some rivets in it. Now I'm going to put a bead of this uh, 3M 5200 uh, marine adhesive on it. I probably use some sort of caulking or uh, seam sealer, but this stuff worked pretty good with floor patches so and I got some more left over so I'm just gonna continue to use it. Put a few more cleat goes in there and now we'll, uh, we'll rivet it in place. Riveting like the wind. Riveting. Such the nice comments you give me. That's right, I always find oh. you. Oh, look, the brush is on. Yeah.